A nursing assistant at a Rancho Bernardo senior care facility is battling for her life tonight, diagnosed with COVID-19. As our tenders reporter Michael Chen tells us, she answered the call to work before she got sick. Villa Rancho Bernardo Skilled Nursing Center in terms of COVID-19 among the hardest hit senior care facilities in the county. In early May, Lanny says her sister Irene Branch, a longtime nursing assistant there, told her about all the sick calls and her insistence to keep working. She always have a big heart, like uh, if they are short, she always like go to work. Around the same time, Branch started to feel sick. Coughing a little bit, her appetite no her symptoms quickly got worse, and a few days later, Lanny got a frightening call from her sister. Having shortness of breath, so I told her to call 911. She did, and a day later in the ICU, Branch was on a ventilator. She received donated plasma containing COVID antibodies, but her condition has deteriorated. Kidney failure led to ongoing dialysis. I pray every time our family pray a lot. Lanny says doctors recently removed her from a medically induced coma, but she remains comatose. She cannot wake up. That's the problem right now. She can, she's not waking up. It's hard. I cannot accept it right now. This image is from a recent FaceTime call. Unable to visit because of COVID restrictions, Lanny talked while a hospital worker held up a phone. Telling her that we are here to support her like that. Letting her know that we are not abandoning her. I am very hopeful. I will not give up. Michael Chen. 10 years. According to the latest state numbers, 45 residents and 30 staff members at Via Rancho Bernardo have tested positive for COVID-19. We reached out to that facility. We're waiting to hear back. In the meantime, a GoFundMe campaign has been set up to help with medical expenses. There is a link on our homepage. Here are the latest